Are you listening? It's anything and everything with Mel. Damn. Every single cell in your body has the instructions to be any cell in your body. Does that make sense? Yeah. Because your your DNA like is your DNA. Code, yeah. yeah, your DNA okay. is your DNA. Um, but stem cells are the only thing that can literally turn into any cell in your body, right? Because you have cells differentiate. And they'll turn into different cells, right? Um, and there's actually technology that's out, that's starting to come about. It's not there yet, but we can take like any kind of like we could take, let's say, like a neuron. Mm -hmm. A neuron isn't a stem cell. A neuron fires um, neurotransmitters and communicates, right? That's for communication. But there's technology that's starting to come out to where we can turn a neuron into a stem cell. For example, Whoa. right? So we can go back and convert cells that are differentiated because once once a cell differentiates it's done it's not going to turn back into anything else but we're starting to uh Learn to, to find it. ways to to do that wow that's yeah. very promising it's, it's interesting stuff wow. so we're going to get to a point where we can just produce stem cells and give them to people to cure stuff man doesn't it seem pretty crazy that's really insane all of these great like these these are such groundbreaking immortality type of things that we're getting close to but we're going to spend so much time and research on finding out how to be immortal that the day we make someone immortal, mm -hmm. we're, we're going to look up and there's going to be a meteor about to crash <laughs> into us and wipe us out. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, it's just our luck. Yeah. yeah like yeah. We, we need to divert some of our attention towards something long term so we could stay here for a long time. Like, Would you want to be immortal? No. I don't. Like, I wouldn't. I no. personally wouldn't. I, I just wouldn't want to get old. I don't know if 100 years so, would be enough to. So if you could stay like this age... Like for a long time, <laughs> right? Because yeah. that's the thing. Like, just, yeah. you just don't want to be old. Like, I don't want to be an old man. Like, the only thing that I think in a wheelchair, old. trying to like need, that I need help to like do anything. But Why then my again, ass? I'm almost a f maybe that is part of what naturally should happen. Because if that was not the case, if I didn't get old, uh -huh. I feel like I would cling on to this life for as long as I can, and it would make me fear death more, Even more. because of the uh -huh. fact that death is inevitable for all of us. Yeah, it makes us all kind of accept it. You know, and accept it more the more that we can see it happening to us. You know, the more we get older. And I think if you don't like ever the, see that happen to us, and it never comes in your mind because no one's ever dying around you anymore. Like, would you ever want to leave this life? And maybe this life is the temporary one that we just needed to kind of you know pass on or whatever the maybe. hell happens afterwards. No one really knows what happens afterwards, but I think that I, the what time thing span, I know is I would like to see. I think the length of time that we get is enough to put a fire under our asses to do something with the time that we have. Cause if you're if you're a mortal man, like you sit on your ass and do nothing, like I got all I got all life, bro. That's I got all right. eternity. Like, what do I need to do? That's a good debate too. <laughs> yeah. What what kind of drive would you have? I don't feel like you'd have much. That, that's what that's what got me recently. It's just like, dude, I gotta see and do as much cool shit as I can before my body can't do it anymore. You know, I don't want to be, I don't want to be like 65 and like, okay, now I'm going to see the world. Screw that, dude. I don't want to see that yeah, shit right. now, like retire man. and get to go see it as an old man. Yeah, walk in the Great oh, Wall with yeah. like a cane. With a cane. <laughs> the classic yeah. image. I finally get to see it. You got cataracts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> out of the corners of my shit, eyes. Yeah. I can see it out of my peripherals. <laughs> oh, God. No, man. I agree. I, but you, technology's good. It's getting there, dude. We're going to get to a point where we're going to be able to like regenerate limbs, dude. Like, we can give somebody an arm. That doesn't have an arm. Some That's shit. crazy, man. You know? We're growing hearts. Did you see the video where they take um, a mouse heart or a rat heart, right? And they drain the heart, the tissue. They drain the tissue of all the cells. But what's left is the extracellular matrix. So, like, your cells are held like together with, like... Skin. It's not... Yeah, kind of, yeah. So, it, it looked clear. It was, like, a clear heart. What the fuck? Yeah. And so, like, the cells, like, they drain the heart of the cells, Right, so all that's left is the extracellular matrix, and it's not beating anymore. It's basically like an, an exoskeleton an of a heart. Yeah, something. Oh my god! And then they reintroduced cells from a different mouse, right? Heart cells from a different mouse, and it started beating again. It started Whoa. working again, dude. Is that going to be our new way of transferring shit? Maybe, dude. Yeah, we might not even need donors Whoa. soon enough, which would be fantastic. Can, but at the same time, do like, that with someone's brain. Do you we're, think that we're gonna have to start thinking about population control, dude? If we start curing all these diseases and, and that's fixing what I'm saying. all these people, dude, like that's that long term shit you're talking yeah. about. Yeah, seriously, because I, I feel like it's almost inevitable. Or SpaceX. 
I like what Neil deGrasse Tyson said. That re- it really blew my mind when he said this. He's like, whatever it's going to take to colonize a planet, a new planet, we yeah. could just do it here and spend less time and effort and energy. Because Makes sense. We, might, we need here. to make this place better first before we, we start fucking up another planet. But does that mean more like con- government control? What does that mean, dude? How much do you have to sacrifice uh, yeah. in order to have a better life? Uh-huh.